broke down and bought Harry Potter, so I'm gonna play that today, see how it goes. I've watched a couple of uh, streamers that look pretty good, so. Um, I'm different, so. Usually play horror, killing people, so. This will be a little more tame than what I usually play. Well, let's just jump right in. Um, I might have to move my chair because I don't want to block anything on the screen, but I'll do my best to not do that. Anyways, let's jump right into the game. If I have to, I'll move. I'll move over. Just checking settings, loading. Menu reader. Off. Press left trigger to toggle. I don't need the menu reader. I went from one Warner Brothers game to another. Actually, a few. Dying Light, then Mad Max. Now this. Uh, let's see. I'm not colorblind, so... I'll probably just leave everything as default, and I can always change it later. Mm. I'm on a Series X, so I can probably handle it. Blah, 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 blah. We know where you live, we know where you sleep, we know your favorite color. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, I already, I thought I linked everything. Mm, I guess I can do that later. I'll do it off stream. I got the <clears throat> pre-order, so. Twitch with Warner Brothers before the stream, so. Mm. Actually, I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to. I'll probably just leave it at default. I'll adjust it later if I need to. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Oh, my grandma's gonna love that. Term begins on 1 September. Hmm, that's February, so I guess it's gonna be a while. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. Well, I'm, I'm over 17. However, due to the unique, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazir Fig to help you own your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of Startup term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't think they're gonna have anybody that looks like me, so I'll see what I can do. 
I wonder how, how much you can really change him. Hmm. Yeah, none of them, none of them look like me so far. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, not really, but. I wonder if I can modify Face shape. I need some fatter cheeks. And I don't need freckles. Oh, he's got a... I don't like the look in his eye. I don't know if I trust him. Do we want glasses? That makes us look smarter. I don't know if I can change this later. That looks like me with a full head of hair. Maybe I should use him. No, that's not him. They're just like a randomizer. I can. There we go. Let's see if any, any, any of these hairstyles have 10 strands of hair. No. Mmm. No. It looks like he's a, a military dude. We can change the hair color. Oh, we want scars. Looks like he put a cigarette, car cigarette lighter on his face. Eh, I don't really care about scars. Let's, let's hear our voice. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I uh, know. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Not good enough. I'll do normal. Uh, I'm gonna use my real name. You must name your character. I could put a smart-ass name in, but... I want to be a wizard or a witch. I'm gonna be a wizard. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Okay, I'm in first class ah, coach. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone yeah, take focus, so focus. quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George, Elias. glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fit in the West End. 
<laughs> it's been much too long. Laugh. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Okay. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. Might, I'm starting anyway. school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he yes, is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. I hope I'm smart enough to play this game. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did-
You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganweld potion. That stuff will write you in a second. I wonder if I can turn the caption off. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I guess I just follow him. from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The portkey was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. Well, but Miriam got us sent a that portkey to George here. for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. There's one right there. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I oh. don't know where she oh. came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. I don't want to roll ah, off the edge. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding that. world. Spoke Hogwarts. of the good it could do. But magic that is goes. no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Huh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Ooh. Fancy. Excellent. a bit rougher than I'd expected. If I should break them. I better keep up. Ah, up there. Uh. 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 
We're close now. It's just ahead. I thought he's gonna make us a bridge or something. Steady yourself! Step in the bases, or why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Can't tell if that's something sparkling or. This statue. This may have been his home. Hmm. Guess I'll just follow him. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Let's keep going. I can go around back here. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna run or roll off the edge. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Someone have conjured that enchanted stone here. And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow that, on the port key container. Yeah. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? Oh, that's cool. I don't believe it. Happened upon a strange glowing doorway. Suddenly, Professor Fig and I found ourselves in that ornate vestibule. We remain unsure what we will find. How do I close that? There we go. I can hear uh, something. Oh, there he is. Hello? Sleeping on the book.
Mm. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. She had a secret bank. This account. way, then. Stay close. To you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cars if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there, Great Gods? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On you, way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Maybe he's a spy or something. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Let's see what this is real quick. Oh, amen. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Yes, What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! 
Professor Buck? <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Hmm. So study your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Hmm. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? Frozen. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but That's only a as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yeah, let's see. Okay, those are gonna get harder as we go. Flashlight, basically. Hold the R, trigger, and tap Y to cast or extinguish it. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Take 
Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos! Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. That's where they're leading me. That glove again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos.
Lumos. Did you? Let's get my what ass kicked by is some this knight. place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. They destroyed me. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. I was gonna stick it in his ears. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic 
traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Who's this clown? I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. I'm giving him crap. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... Mm. I only meant that yeah, the instructions nice to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. They're getting punished for doing his job. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Nothing out of the vault. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. To end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I'm sorry about the my failing on that uh, on those nights.
I still really don't oh, know what good. the hell I did. We haven't I missed the wrong. sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Sure. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh crap, I don't even know what house to pick. This is where we choose. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I wonder if we get to pick or he just tells us where we're going. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. I'm looking mm. forward to school. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Brilliant. Hmm. Hmm. A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. So he picked for me, I'm taking it. Better be Gryffindor! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. 
I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. At least one of them's a nice days. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. There should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Sleeping You're welcome. in the sewers. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. It's like a big Sleep sewer well. pipe. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I'm gonna look at my room first. Wonder which one's my bed. I could open some of the cabinets, but... Hmm. I'm just gonna go Now, which way is the common room? It's down, but... Better go down. I like the art style in this game. Maybe I gotta go all the way to the top. I don't know where that one dude went. I was supposed to follow him. See me. I so lucky they didn't end up as dragon food. Like that poor man from the ministry. Can't imagine mm. starting new school this late. A little room, everyone. Let them through. Just do them in order, I guess. Who does Nelly think she is, anyway? So many. Oh, right. Perhaps Perhaps I should. Nelly, then I'm doing them out of order. No, this is. 
I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! I'm probably not the right one to ask. Oh, just... hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Yep. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Hmm. So that Don't is. worry, we'll get it in the end. If I, oh, do it I hope so. like if I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Hmm. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> I don't know if I should go Do through Do most every... students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I did hear that um, you should do all the side quests because once you finish the main quest in the storyline, then you lose those side quests. Who does Nelly think she is? Don't fall anyway. off this time, Nelly. <laughs> what the hell? Nelly's on iron crack. How the hell am I gonna get up there? If that I get caught, I shall be able to do anything for a thrill. Hello, mother. Are and Maybe I'll do her last. Don't fall Nelly off this time, Nelly. I would really like someone to try it. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. And it just popped right are in. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Mm. Must That's be nice, nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Mm. Well, it was nice it. meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. I don't know if he can go back or not. Nope. He's done with me. I guess they're not coming down. He's got a dunce cap. Shame you weren't if born I with wings. Shot I'm sure you'd use them. <laughs> Who does Nelly think she is, anyway? Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> I should fall on that fire. Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. 
I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Mm, yeah. Yes, true. our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Mm. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon, of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. After that one. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Thanks, Weasley's sure. waiting for you outside Going the right room. back up there. Mm. That's just fruit. See what this does. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. A cheat sheet for the test, hopefully. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? It's your diary. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Grimoire. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. There's it. Whatever. Peter has a brand new game. Just I certainly there. would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I am. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Ravelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Lumos. Ravelio. So, what's your face, wizard? Arufio. 
Bane for his brain elixir is an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Hmm. in your first guide page and lock a new challenge. Hmm. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards unlock each tier you complete from appearance. From appearances to critical upgrades. I don't want to look around and wish you Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. <laughs> Protego! Oops. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Can't seem to run here. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. That's cool. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the great hall. This is huge. Like the south wing region to continue. This is your location. Where the hell is the south? In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I guess I'm going to the green one. I'm going to walk around. I don't want to fast travel everywhere. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. That's cool. <clears throat> That's cool, just hanging around in the school. 
is something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Amazing how. Uh, that should alive be all for now. Is. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. As what will I, I learn these. in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Mm. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot school. to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened I'm after a stun that attack awful needs work, dragon that's attack. Sure. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Uh, Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring it? ruins? Said well, that. I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, uh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Better talk to him. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about uh, I knew exploring I ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, That's Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. We'll be sneaking and she it. may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. That represents the main quest, completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features and grant XP. So that's the dark arts quest. Where the hell's my? Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be re you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing a professor's assignments. Or as quest, quest rewards. I wonder what the side quests look like. Well, I should do that one first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. And they did a good job on this school. I gotta be watching for those. I wasn't even watching for those. Although for a while, I'll probably just run around because I don't want to miss stuff. I'm not gonna try to rush through this game, so. What are you up to now? Man, I can't believe all the detail in this game. I haven't even got outside yet. The music's good too. Quests are now available, good.
one handles. That'd be cool to get a, a flying mount. Well, the game's not uh, screwing up or nothing, so I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna do this quest first. I'm gonna keep it on the settings we got. Stupid. I hate stupefy. Is that all you've got? Never you so! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Mm. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? On One thing ground. I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Here we go. Now I know Levioso. Levioso. <laughs> Now, let's try something a little larger. How about the smart ass kid? Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Yep. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Oh. Now, the well done. I'm gonna have to get used to spell casting. Cause... Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> this should be easy. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Levioso. A perfectly executed Levioso. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Yeah, just don't make me cast I put five. you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. What if I demand dummies, like excellence World from Warcraft. my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. 
A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Yes. Nice work. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. I'd hate to face me. Professor Hecket in a duel. Well, I wonder if he's going to be our friend or enemy. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite Taking something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Mm. I'm I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Ooh, huh. Fair enough. Yes, I have said you that. owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right so about you. better be careful with If the you want to get the I most think. out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just mm. have to be clever enough not to get I caught. Don't want to piss off Thank my you, mentor, Sebastian. But... I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. And this place is big. Whoever decided to make profound lives. This would be a, a school I'd actually want to go to. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. I wish we sometimes have to remind time. him to finish the lesson. Professor Weasley Some of us don't necessarily want him no to get back to the lesson. Be remembered as the worst ever seen. No ability. I shouldn't be wearing my scarf and hat inside. But... Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Mm hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. 
Mmm. Uh-oh. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. She lost him, but... By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? No. Mm? Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Field trip. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> I play that. So? What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. Akio. Excellent. Good. Happens to the best of us. No, I don't want it to go up the head. Damn it. Very good. I want to retry on that first one. Splendid. No. Mm. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh oh. My dog's freaking out. Let us see this. Phew. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Akio. Here we go. There we go. Don't lose your watch this. Here. 
Nicely done. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Bakta. I must admit, uh, I think I underestimated my, you. My mic was Took muted, me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Freaking out. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Just a bark if somebody comes to the door. Mm. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Is Wagadu much bigger Wagadu. than Wagadu? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt know. like home. Hogwarts is pretty damn big. Wagadoo. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadoo uses one. Mm. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Mm. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, I go the mist instead. was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Hmm. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you right. can use Akio on humans. A word, if, so if you would. Well, 
You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You wanted you know to speak with me, you. Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't That's exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. That's kind of cool. I was expecting the last parts to be different, but... Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. I don't... It's mad, but... I'm gonna run up here and look. I wonder if I'm gonna get in trouble if I'm opening locked doors when I'm able to. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Mm, I guess so. Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Hmm. I can talk to him. No, damn it. Maybe change the batteries. Uh, I don't know what that chest I can. I must be above me. Handy resource and indeed, the your field the guide. The I will please where be were included. You in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Well, I think I'm going to stop here. Fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Talking. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. <laughs> she says it's a boo, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> I don't really know what he's all about. All right, I'm gonna save it here. If I get in the right menu. Okay, gotta get used to all the controls and stuff. That's pretty cool so far. I'm liking it so far. I want to keep going, but I got some things I got to do. But, but that's a good sign because 
I, this is the game you can get lost in, I'm sure, so. Like I said, I haven't even been outside yet. Well, other than that one game, I haven't really gone exploring. So. Anxious for that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I put this on YouTube, so if you're watching on YouTube, that would help if you hit the like and subscribe. And don't forget, you can check me out on Webtoons and Tapas for the comic. And every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard is a new episode. So thanks again for watching. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Bye.